currently at $103.84 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $153 a share in the next 12 months. Hey guys, it's Tuesday, April 30th, and you know on the weekend I usually put out a this week's winning stocks edition to let you know what fundamentally sound stocks have been moving up from their annual low price. But this time it is actually a Tuesday and I saw the markets doing some interesting things today. It was starting off good yesterday, moving up, but today was a little shaky. So I wanted to put out another special edition of this week's winning stocks. And this is how the markets are faring on Tuesday. We know last week after having the S&P 500 drop for three weeks in a row, I like to talk about the state of the S&P 500, the Dow and the NASDAQ before jumping into the watch list because those three represent pretty much the entire market. So we know after we saw the S&P 500 drop for three weeks straight, and each of these candles represent a week. So we saw the S&P 500 drop for three weeks straight. Last week, we had a winning week. You see the green candle, it moved up last week. Coming into this week, everything seemed okay yesterday, but seems to have dropped today. Thus, you see that red candle at the end same thing we see for the Dow it's just Monday and Tuesday so far but we see a red candle here continuing a little sideways movement and for the NASDAQ not as big a candle as for the SPY and the Dow for that case but again, last week was a positive week, and so far, we see a little negative candle here. So let's look at some of the stocks on our watch list that made a move or sort of held their ground. And first, we see the Hershey Company. Now, the Hershey Company is a three-star I break the stocks on my watch list down into three tiers. Three star is the most fundamentally sound. Two star is beneath that. And one star is the least fundamentally sound, but still sound enough to make it on the watch list. Now in this edition, I actually have a few stocks that are no stars, but I included them because they're pretty well-known names. They're known in the market. So we'll take a look at a few of those as well. But Hershey is a three-star. Now, they have an earnings report dropping right around the corner, a few days away, May 3rd. And an earnings report is sort of like going to a casino. An earnings report is like a report card for businesses. But it's almost like going to a casino if you own the stock. That earnings report can come out great or good and your stock price can jump. Or it can come out bad and the stock price can drop. So if you're not in for that roller coaster ride, and you don't own the stock yet, you're better off waiting until that earnings support drops before you start buying up. In any event, Hershey is a three star. They were at $195.62 when I took the screenshot this morning. Yahoo analysts estimate 
they can move up to $207.10. Now, last week, they had a slightly positive week, a green candle, but it really didn't move much of anywhere. This week, we're just into Tuesday, but they already have a pretty much what looks like a full candle to me. So we're seeing some movement this week. We want to see what they do moving forward. Next, we have Biogen. Biogen is a three star. Currently at $213.83 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $284.76 in the next 12 months. They have an earnings report dropping on July 23rd, so we have some time until we get there. Notice last week was a positive week. This week is a positive week, but it went up and then it started, sort of came back. It was opening at around $9 yesterday morning when I checked it around 10 It was up by like $9. And I actually bought an option on it. And it went back to six. I'm down on that option so far, but I want to see if it, how it turns out. I'm going to hold it for a little while. And if it's moving nowhere, I'll let it go. Next, we have the Mosaic Company. They are a two star. Currently at $31.52. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $37.51 in the next 12 months. They have an earnings support dropping on May 1st. And we see them moving in a sideways pattern. Green candle again this week to start off these first two days. We want to see, are they going to continue this sideways pattern? move down and finally break out and start to move up. Heymanetics Corporation. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 9th. A few days away, but coming up. They're currently at $91.97 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $105.57 in the next 12 months. Now, they took a nice move up last week. But this week, so far, these first two days, we really just see a speck of green. We don't see them moving down but we don't see them moving up significantly. We want to see what they do moving forward. AMN Healthcare Services. They are a two star. They currently have an earnings report dropping on May 9th. Their so and they're at $59.36 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $72.29. They're sort of moving sideways. A nice little candle forming these first two days. But they're still sort of in a sideways pattern. They started to break out here, came back down, and been moving sideways these last few weeks. We want to see if they break out again or they stay in that side pattern. ConMed Corporation. They are a one star. They have an earnings support dropping July 24th or the week thereof. 
They're currently at $67.79. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $94.86 in the next 12 months. Now, they had been coming down. Finally, we're seeing some green. Not much, but it's just two days so far. We want to see what they continue to do moving forward. Do they continue their drop down, start to move sideways, or break out and start to move up from here? Starbucks. This is a stock which is not on the watch list. But it's a well-known stock, so I did the analysis on it, and I'm in, and dropped it in the channel, and I'm including it here. They're currently at $88.93 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $102.95 in the next 12 months. They have an earnings support dropping. Well, actually, it should be today or this week. But interestingly, there we see a green candle here. We see sort of a doji here. And we see a small green candle for this week, Monday and Tuesday so far. So we see three positive weeks for this stock. Even though I don't consider it a fundamentally sound stock, it's not on my watch list, but I do see it moving up from the time that we've analyzed it. Excellus Technologies. They are a three star. Currently at $103.84 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $153 a share in the next. 12 months. They have an earnings report dropping on May 1st. And if we see last week they had a positive week, this week they're starting off positive. We want to see what they continue to do. Simply Good Foods Company. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping June 27th or later that week. They're currently at $36.87 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $39.92. Not much room that the Yahoo analysts expect they'll continue to move. But if we look at these three candles, Three weeks in a row, they had fantastic moves up. Perficient Inc. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 6th. They're currently at $47.07 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $69.14 a share in the next 12 months. And we see they have been moving down steadily, but we finally see a green candle. Are they going to continue their drop, start to move sideways, or start to move up? I actually looked to place an options trade on these guys. But two factors. One, I didn't have enough available in my account to get a long-term option on them. Most of my stuff is tied up with other things. And secondly, I didn't like the spread between their bid and ask price. But if I'd have got it, I'd have probably just gone with the mid price. J J J and J Snack Foods. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 6th. 
Now they're currently at $137.49 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to 174. Now a couple of weeks ago they had a positive week. Since then it's been a couple of red candles but they haven't really been moving down. Those candles have been more so like dojis. So we're going to see what they do moving forward. Zoetis Corporate or Zoetis Inc. And I'm actually holding an option on this one. I'm up around 50%. They are a two star. Currently at $159.47. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $216.70 in the next 12 months. They have an earnings report dropping on May 2nd. And notice, they moved up nicely last week. But this week, it's like they moved up. But then they gave up those gains by the end of today. We'll see what they do moving forward. Energizer Holdings. Like you've probably seen the commercial with the for the batteries with the Energizer Bunny. That is Energizer Holdings. They are a no-star. They're not on our watch list. But they have an earnings report dropping on May 7th. They're currently at $28.84 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $34.25 in the next 12 months. And notice we have slight movements but three green candles. So the last three weeks have been positive, only slightly, but. And lastly, we have RRGB. I spoke about this recently, Red Robin. They are not on our watch list, so there are no stars. They're not on our watch list. The fundamentals for this company I find to be pretty horrible. But they have an earnings re report dropping May 26th through the week of. They're currently at $7.51 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $15 a share in the next 12 months. If they actually do that, that's a 100% return on the stock. Now notice from the time I mentioned them, they've moved up for the last three weeks. Only slight moves, but still they've been moving up for the last three weeks. So that's it for this midweek edition of this week's Stock Winners, guys. Um, I look forward to speaking to you in the next video, and I hope you have a great day and a great night.